Parents say they're struggling to find children's Tylenol, but is there a widespread shortage of the medicine? As Ariande Till with our National Verify team reports, just because some shelves are empty doesn't mean there's a production shortage. Pictures of empty shelves in medicine aisles at pharmacies are being shared online by frustrated parents. As the flu, RSV, and COVID-19 currently surge in the United States, parents say they can't find medicine for their kids. On Twitter, former TV host Megan McCain claimed there's a shortage of children's Tylenol in the country. Online searches show many people are wondering if this is true. So let's verify using these sources. This claim needs context because our sources point to a supply and demand challenge as the primary reason why some of these shelves are empty. The FDA and Johnson & Johnson, the manufacturers of Tylenol, say there isn't a widespread shortage of the children's Tylenol in the United States. J&J &J also confirmed it's not facing any supply chain challenges or ingredient issues. Instead, the company says increased demand caused by an extremely challenging cold and flu season may be why consumers are struggling to find its product. The Consumer Health Products Association also says the reason for the scarcity of OTC children's pain relievers at certain retail locations is a direct result of the recent and rapid increase in demand driven by a rise in pediatric cases of respiratory illnesses. The FDA lists drug shortages in a database on its website. Acetaminophen, the generic name for children's Tylenol, is not included in the agency's database as of December 21st. To help parents get the over-the-counter medicines their children need, CVS and Walgreens are limiting how many children's cold medicine products consumers can buy. With your Verify, I'm Ariande Till.